What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp model performance tutorial for you. So I thought what I'd do today is I'd make a video showing you exactly the steps that I go through to speed up a slow SketchUp model inside of SketchUp. Today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is my detailed course teaching you exactly how to use SketchUp. The course itself has over 14 hours of instruction covering everything from the very basics of SketchUp all the way through interior design and layout. In addition, the course also contains a community forum where you can go to ask questions and we have live coaching calls where you can actually call in and ask questions live and get them answered. So I've really worked hard to make the SketchUp Essentials course the best course for learning how to use SketchUp. I'd love for you to check it out at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So today's example model is the industrial grade house from Mike Brestel. You can download this model from the SketchUp 3D warehouse. Notice the file size on this is going to be 47 megabytes, so it's a little bigger than a lot of the files that we usually download. But I wanted to take a look at it first. So first off, what we're going to do is we're just going to jump back and we're going to zoom out. So to do that, I'm just going to jump back by pressing the zoom extents button and then rotate down. And notice how when I rotate around, there's some things going on with the trees here um, that are going to affect your performance. So you can see how as I zoom around and I fly around, it takes a second for those trees to actually get loaded in. So you can tell that that's one of the things that's affecting your model performance. But the first thing I do is I wanna to try to get to a working view with a style that's gonna run quickly. So the way that I do that is I start by just jumping into my styles. And the first thing I always do is I go into my edge settings right here and I turn off profiles. And so profiles are basically those thickened edges that are in here that make your lines look thicker. Well, notice when I rotate and then I let up on the orbit button, it takes a second and then it loads in all these thickened edges. Well, the problem with that is it's basically going through and loading a lot of the edges in SketchUp twice, and it's really slowing down your model. So the first thing I do is I turn off those profiles. And you can either create a new style in here with those settings, or you can just click on the update button to change your existing style with those settings. But for now, I'm just going to update my existing style. So I'm just going to click right here so that I no longer have profiles when I rotate around. So the second thing I look at is I go in and I make sure shadows are toggled off. So if shadows were toggled on, which if I click right here, you can see how it's going to take a second to calculate that. Um, and you can see how it's spinning because that's going to be such a heavy thing. Notice how if shadows are on, it takes a while for it to calculate where those are going to go. So I usually try to toggle shadows off in my working mode. So then the third thing I do before I do anything else is I go ahead and I save a view with these lighter settings incorporated. So I just go up to view, animation, add scene, and I go over into my scenes toolbar on the right hand side of the page and I make sure this is set up to save all of my active settings including styles and fog, shadow settings, all of that. So you just want to make sure that these boxes are all checked. All right, so the next thing that you can look at, and this is before we start like grouping things and toggling layers or tags off and all that different stuff. The next thing that you can do is one of the things that can make SketchUp kind of slow is loading in all of these textures, right? So notice how as I rotate around like this, it takes a second for the textures to load in. That's because SketchUp has to bring in all of these image files and display them. Well, if I'm trying to create a quick easy to edit scene, what I can do is I can just go into my styles and in my face settings right here, there's an option for display in shaded mode and watch the trees when I do this. So when I click on the button to display in shaded mode, what that's going to do is now my trees, if we look at them, is just going to load in flat geometry in here instead of loading in those image files. Well, what that means is that means that this doesn't have to do as much work displaying the tree images that are in here. And it's also not displaying my textures anymore. It's just displaying like a shaded representation of those textures. So a lot of the time what'll happen is I'll get a model that has higher resolution images in here and they're just really slow to load. If you toggle this to the shaded mode right here, then you don't have to worry about loading all that stuff in. And so again, you can either update this style or you can create your own lightweight style. It's kind of up to you. In this case, I'm just gonna adjust this style again for right now. 
All right, so now I've got this set up where we're not loading in a ton of textures or edges or anything like that. My shadows are turned off. So we've kind of done the easy stuff from a visibility standpoint. Well, now what I want to do is I want to take all this other stuff, this really heavy plant stuff, and I want to put it on a tag so I can toggle it off. And again, remember that we're starting by creating a working mode. So the way that I'm gonna do that, and this can be a little frustrating with 3D warehouse models, is I'm just gonna click into the group and I'm just gonna put all the plants in a group. So in this situation, if I just click into my outliner, and so in this case, we can start with these trees already being in this group like this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rename this group trees so that I know what I'm looking at. And then I'm gonna take my other plants and group them as well. And then I'm gonna put all of that in a plants group and then we're gonna put that on a tag so we can toggle it off. So in my working mode, I don't need to be loading all of these different plants in. So and remember, you just right click and click on the button to create group in order to do this. But I'm gonna rename this plants. And then I'll take the plants group and the trees group and I'll put them in a group and I'll call it something like landscaping. But I just wanna take this and I just wanna call it landscape. And then we just wanna create a tag for landscape. And in this case, there actually are some tags in here. I wanna create my own just for the overall thing, but I'm just gonna click on here and I'm just gonna add a landscape tag. And then I'm gonna take my landscape group put it on that tag, but now I'm just gonna toggle that landscape group off so that I don't have to load all of those plants in here. Then I'm just gonna update my scene. So now I've got a scene where I can fly around in here and I can work on my building without worrying about those plants. And for those of you that are worrying that we're turning everything off, what we can do is we can just create a new scene right here. So we'll just add a scene and we'll just turn everything back on. So we'll just toggle our landscape back on. We'll create a style like this and we'll turn our textures. And if you want the profiles, you can turn your profiles on as well. I really don't, but we'll just have this be the all on style. And then we'll just update this and we'll just rename it all on. So I'll have my first scene and I'll call that working view. Then I'll have my second scene, which is all on. So that way I can get in here and I can do my work in my working view. And then if I need to export views, I can just toggle over to that other scene like this. So then another thing that I do is a lot of the time I like to toggle my furnishings off as well because furnishings can be kind of heavy in SketchUp as well, right? So if I'm coming in here and I'm actually like working on this building, then a lot of the time I wanna be able to toggle that furniture off so that it's not slowing down my computer. So um, in this case, I'll just go in here and hide this real quick, but I would just take all of my furnishings. So anything that's in here is furniture or plants, anything like that that's gonna be kind of heavy. These aren't really that bad, but we'll toggle them off anyway and I'll just put those in a group. We'll go down into our outliner and we'll call this furnishings. We'll create a tag for furnishings and we'll put this group on this tag and we'll toggle those off as well. Then we can come back in here and unhide the glass that I hid but notice how with every one of these things that I toggle off, this model gets faster and faster and faster. And I can always toggle those back on, so not a big deal. You can just toggle those back on just by clicking on the furnishings button right here. Make sure to update your scene when you toggle that off. So when I'm getting a 3D warehouse model, I'll also come in to my model info. So I'll go to window, model info, and inside of my statistics, Notice how there's information in here about everything that's contained inside of this model. Well, usually what I'll do um, is I'll purge the unused. A lot of the time that'll get rid of some different materials that are contained inside of my file. Sometimes there's some unused edges that this gets rid of. So this is more for a file size thing than anything else. But if I click on purge unused, you can see how a lot of that extra stuff in here went away. So there were a bunch of extra things in here that weren't actually used in my model for anything that I was able to get rid of as well. So you might have noticed I was using the outliner to organize things. 
When you're not using the outliner, try to minimize it because it's going to be trying to update dynamically as you make changes and that can really slow down your SketchUp models as well. So I'll go in and I'll make my organizational changes, then I'll toggle the outliner off so that I can just work in my model. So now I've got a great working view of my model right here and I can always toggle everything back on inside of my other scene in order to export everything when I need to do that. So if you want more great SketchUp tips like this, make sure you check out the SketchUp Essentials course. So I really designed that course to be the best place to go to learn how to use SketchUp. So I would love to see you there, but thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.